I love vertical gardens. They're popping up all over the place. I've seen them in New York, I've seen them in Paris. I wanted one inside my house. This one is pretty special because it has a Adafruit Clue microcontroller in here. The Clue is a really cool little board. It runs Arduino or CircuitPython, and it's got a whole bunch of sensors inside. This one has a barometric sensor, it has a humidity sensor and a temperature sensor. What that means, in effect, is that I can make artwork that can predict the weather. I'm using the, dip, the barometric sensor on the Clue to map colors to a NeoPixel strip that is inside of the frame. The middle section here is showing current data, and I can see back in time uh, with the section up here showing data that's an hour old, and the section at the top and bottom is showing a two hours old data. This means that at a glance, I can take a look and see whether the pressure is rising or falling, which helps me determine what I'm gonna wear that day. Let's take a look at how we made this. Isn't it beautiful? All the different colors and textures. I just, I just love the way it looks on this rock. I want it to look just like this in the finished art piece, but uh, I don't want to have to water it. So I want to preserve the moss and try to get it to look as much like this living, beautiful, vibrant moss as possible. The reason this moss looks so beautiful and vibrant is it actually is putting out a little bit of ultraviolet light that our eyes can pick up. I didn't quite manage to attain the beautiful vibrant color of the living moss, but I got pretty close by using fabric dye in a dark green and then brightening it all up with ultraviolet pigments that I just sort of rubbed onto the top of the moss. It really worked pretty well. It looks a lot better than the dried moss with no dye. The clue is connected to a power supply and a NeoPixel strip. Check out the learn guide at adafruit.com for details about how it's all put together. We upcycled the frame out of an old shoji screen, which we cut down to a smaller size using a chop saw. We built an offset wooden frame from corner molding to house the NeoPixel lights. Once the frame was built, we glued the pixels inside the frame and mounted the clue in the back. We used silicone adhesive to securely mount the LEDs so they'd sit about an inch above the moss and illuminate the tips of the plants. We threaded the wires through the shoji screen and attached some extra wires so we could place the clue further down in the artwork. The clue is mounted to the back of the frame with hot glue. Once everything was assembled and working, it was time to add the moss. We placed the moss inside the frame until we were happy with the placement and then used hot glue to secure it down. Now we've got a gorgeous vertical garden that tells us whether the air pressure is rising or falling. It's like having art with a superpower. See the full build tutorial with all the details on the Adafruit learning system. The link's in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more unique and fun project ideas.